Lord Jesus, bring me wine, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. 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 Jesus, bring me wine. Jesus, bring me wine. Jesus, bring me wine. Jesus, bring me wine. Oh, I say, Jesus, bring me wine. Jesus, bring me wine. Oh, I say, Jesus, bring me wine. My Savior, bring me wine. I'll be reading the scripture and we'll bring with that scripture. You know, the Bible was speaking in Matthew chapter 9, verse 17. That. Okay, be fine with I'm coming. Bible was speaking in Matthew chapter 9, verse 17. He says, Neither do men put new wine into old bottles. Say, else the bottles break and the wine runneth over. That is, the wine is wasted. Now said, and the bottles perish, but they put new wine into new bottles. Both are preserved. That is, both the vessel and the wine are preserved. But if you put a new wine in an old vessel, then the wine will waste and the vessel will break. So when we are praying that God should give us new wine, we need to first check the vessel as well. Because the vessel is the most critical part of it. So if, because if the vessel is an old vessel, it cannot carry the new wine. And that will lead me to, to 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 20. Please just follow me. The Bible says, Now in a large house, I don't know, can you just move to the side? The Bible was speaking and he said, Now in a large house, there are not only gold and silver bowls, but also those of wood and clay, some for honorable use, some for dishonorable use. So if anyone purifies himself from anything dishonorable, he will be a special instrument, set apart, useful to the master prepare for every good works it's talking about the vessel right in a great house we have vessels of gold and of silver there are some vessels that are meant for honorable use special purpose special locations and some for this one and that says well, you know i was looking at this passage and i feel as though god was explaining what he said better in the, in the subsequent verses and verse 2 now says flee youthful flee from youthful passions Don't forget that verse 21, 20, 21 was talking about the fact that oh, there are vessels that if any man will purge himself from all those things, shall be a vessel unto honor, a vessel fit for the master's So what does the process of purging myself? How do a man become a vessel unto honor? How, do, how does a man become what the vessel? And this, this is one the things I was saying. It says, flee from youthful passions and pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace along with those who call on the Lord from a pure heart, but reject foolish and ignorant disputes. Now, the first thing I said was that you have to flee from youthful passions, right? Youthful lust. The next thing was that reject foolish and ignorant disputes, knowing that they breed chorus. Then the Lord's servant must not quarrel, but must be gentle to everyone. See, that was one thing that struck my heart. The scripture that says the servant of God must be gentle to everyone. That same scripture is as vital as the scripture that says flee, flee youthful lust. Because many a time we, especially many of us that we've been in the church for a while, we believe that, oh, because I don't fornicate, then it automatically means I'm, I'm a vessel unto honor. There are certain things we don't regard as something serious, but God takes them serious. And that is one, one of those things in this place. The servant of the Lord must know what? Must be gentle to everyone. Must be gentle even to their subordinates. Do you get what I'm saying? Must be gentle even to the bike man that carried you. You know, there, are, there, are, there were times that I've carried bike, bike men. 
and some baby the way they were running or the way they made me. I was like, ah. In my heart, I was like, I should just slap the person from the back. Why are you misbehaving like this? And sometimes I'll you know, I'll be like, oh, how many of us? Those things we don't usually count. But when we come to church on Sunday, people see us as the only brother. But when you saw a bike man, especially when you when you see some particular tribe, be like this tribe, I also have people there. Again, I'm saying, you know the way we view them. But also the servant of the Lord must be gentle to everyone, to even your subordinates, and to even those people you don't even hold in highest. You must still be gentle with them. You must, you must treat them with respect. You must treat them with honor. And these are the things that makes a man a vessel unto honor. Not just the fact that yes, I'm not fornicating. Not just the fact that yes, I'm not stealing. Not the fact that I'm not doing this. I'm not fornicating. You know, all of those things that we see they are sins. They are not. They're going for that. It says, but must be gentle to everyone and able to teach. Patient he must be able to teach people and he must be teachable as well. Vessels unto honor are teachable people. There is no way you could say a man is a vessel unto honor if he is not teachable. Forget about it. And teachable in this in, in this regard means that you can learn. You know, some of us there are certain people that once they when God, when God puts you on and they be like, I cannot learn from this person. Probably because of age. I have known people that did that. They believe that oh, if someone is younger than them, they cannot listen to the person. What does he have to say? Think I'm saying, for the servant of God must be must be teachable. Must you must you can you must be someone that when they correct you, you are ready to listen. Not the one that when they're trying to correct you, you pick offense. Some of us are so full of ourselves that when they when someone else tries to correct us, we pick offense that eh, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, no, a vessel unto one will be teachable. Will be teachable. Another thing is this: instructing his opponent in gentleness. This one also struck my heart. A vessel unto one who will, will instruct his opponents with gentleness. They might not agree with you, but that does not mean you pick a fight with them. I get what I'm saying. I'm together. Yes. They might not agree with what you are saying, but that doesn't mean that you pick a quarrel with them. A vessel unto one. So it's beyond just that. Oh, um, I'm not stealing money. Oh, no. Oh, I'm not doing this. Ah, this one's there. No, that's not related, related to that original sinners. But these other things are what disqualifies many people. I want us to pray this evening. And that is the focus. That Lord, make me a water vessel. Make me a vessel unto one. If the new wine will come, the new wine can only come to a vessel that has been renewed. Don't forget what the scripture says. Nobody puts new wine in old wine skins. No. People put new wine in new wine skins so that both the wine and the vessel can be preserved. Both the wine and the vessel can be preserved. Lord Jesus, make me a water vessel. Make me a vessel unto honor. In the name of Jesus. Make me a water vessel, Yahweh. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shaleman de Rosia Talabacomenata. Say Nanana Manato, Pera do Messigidiatasa. E ya na 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 ma ko pandi le gidi na ko rasi gidi le gede bele deba. Lord, make me a worthy vessel. Make me a vessel unto honor. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. E leke rosa agada mana 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 manontosa. Where I need to flee from youthful lust, Lord, help me to flee. In the name of Jesus. E kubra to shala mana mana no 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 me neke bele deba. Where I need to, to pursue righteousness, faith, love and peace. Lord, help me to do so. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, 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 Lord God Almighty, make me a worthy vessel, make me a worthy vessel, make me a worthy vessel, make me a worthy vessel. Make me a word of vessel. Make me a word of vessel. In the name of Jesus. Aila mano kora si ata baladaba. Ezana mana mana kora di la mana to shile mena kasi. 
Ikinene to rasa la balandia ta silemene to rasa dia ta la manata. Ekandia to sa ile ambreto mandi gidi bin kumana ta sa. Alla ko rasa ila manato rasi ni bele keto banatia ta. Eru se ide nato ra iga da balabako benato sa. Ekumba agadia to ba agadoko ba rasi ata la balala. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Do you know that power is good, Abi? Eh? Jesus told the disciples, and you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and you will be witnesses to me. So it implies that for me to be to do the work of an evangelist, I need the power of God. Jesus never sent his disciples out without power. But can I also tell you that power without purity is a disaster? That's just that, that was what that scripture was saying in Matthew. That if 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 you are putting a new wine into old wine skins, the what will happen? The result is that that wine will spill out, to be wasted, and the vessel itself, eh, will be broken. So no wonder Jesus had to take time to prepare his disciples. No, he was not just you know he could have decided to just release power upon them, but they first need to be prepared. Those vessels first, those what it needs to be prepared. So power is good. Yes, without power we cannot do the work of God. We cannot do the work of the ministry. We cannot win souls without the power of God. I was saying in Bible study, Bible says, the Bible says, uh, to, to, as many as, as have received them, it gives them power, I mean, to become sons of God. So if it takes power to become sons of, uh, son of God, then it takes power to preach the gospel. I mean, even by, even, Bible even says that even the gospel itself, it is power. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, but because it is the power of God unto salvation. It is the power that makes salvation available. It is the power that releases salvation. That's the that's the gospel. But power, as as important as it, it is in our Christian life, power without purity is a disaster. Is a disaster. Is a disaster. So as much as we we want the power of God. As much as, as much as we want His presence of God, as much as we want God to use us mightily, if purity is not our word, it is not our goal, it is not our word to what, then it, it will still be a waste. Can you say, Lord Jesus, make me pure? Go search my heart today. Every form of impurity, oh God, take them away from me. In the name of Jesus, that's a prayer. Every form of impurity that would disqualify you from being a vessel unto honor, Lord Jesus, take it away from me. In the name of Jesus Christ, every, every impurity, uncleanness that would disqualify me from becoming a vessel unto honor. Yahweh, please take it away. Beloved, I want you to put from the bottom of your heart and open your mouth and your heart. Lord Jesus, please take it away. In the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, take it away, take it away, take it away, take it away. In the name of Jesus, Shalla Manatorasa, Igitibidu Kubana Rasuli Belekita, Esula Damana, Ayado, Shalla Bado, Rasele Belekita Belekita, Esu Kainga Dalia Taira Kokomenata. Lord Jesus, take away every impurity, every uncleanness. In the name of Jesus, Ligitibidu Kubana. Make me a water vessel. Make me a water vessel. Make this vessel pure. Make this vessel clean. Make this vessel whole. In the name of Jesus. Eshuro so le menati ata barato se lekede. Iki di bi nuko rasa iki di ata la bala bala daba. Eshu di bele de bele de bele de bele de bele de bala. Eshu salama na 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 barato se. Eko bala barato se la barato. E rasi di ne me nuko mana no no me ne kete 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 bala. Eshu di bi ne kete rasa le kete bala. Eshu rasi ne me kete bala mana 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 bala daba. Eshu si ata na da da baro so ko 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 bala daba daba. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. I want us to intercede at this point. I want us to intercede for the body of Christ, for the church. Bible speaking in that same Second Timothy that we read, chapter two, but verse nineteen, it says, "Nevertheless, God's solid foundation stands firm. Having this inscription, the Lord knows those who are what who are His, and that says, and everyone who names the name of the Lord." Must turn away from unrighteousness. Kijevi say must depart from iniquity. Anyone who names the name 
the Lord. Anyone who is identified with Christ must turn away from iniquity. Anyone who is called a Christian must turn away from iniquity. Every church that people know that this is a church and identified with the name of Christ must turn away from iniquity. So this, at this point in time, we are going to be praying for the church. There's so much about the power of God. We've talked about the power of God. But we also know, you and I will know, that power is, is not just made available to impure, to unclean vessels. We, we shout so much. We make noise so much. But little power is available because why? Impurity. Impurity. We make a whole lot of noise. Many a time we, we, we do programs, many programs. But yet, the power of God is not so available, especially as it was in the days of old. What is the missing link? Purity. Because you see people that are saying they are holding programs, yes, that many of them are still living in malice, anger. And I wonder how can anger reside in your heart and you expect the Holy Ghost also in reside in that same heart? No, it doesn't work. I want also intercede for the body of Christ, for the church, that Lord Jesus, purge your church. Purge your church. Take away impurity from your church. Sanctify us in the name of Jesus. If you are going to bear fruit as a church, then we need to be purged. If you are going to bear fruit, you are going to bear fruit, then we need to be purged. We need to be purified. Lord, purge your church in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask that you purge your church from every dead works, every unfruitful works of darkness. You will purge us, O God, in the name of Jesus. A lady no shall be no command at us. Lord, purge your church, purge your church. In the name of Jesus. I rusai katalima no to la manatosa. E rasa la banati atabala di atalawa no gadaba. E rusa bani kine atosa. Lord, purge your church, purge your church. In the name of Jesus. 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 I le kura saliata la bakopa. E rusai kanan di atabala gadaba. Le kura sile gini ato beliata. Lord, purge your church, oh God. Unto your church is born that we cannot be a fruit, we know. We cannot be a fruit, Lord, we know this. Lord, purify your church, oh God. Purge your church, and now. E ligi ni me no 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 sa. E rusai katibra no sa baladaba. E shaya na ma na ma na ma na ba koto baraziata. E le ni me rusiata liata. E kugi na tora sa la baladaba. E shala balaba koko manata rasiata baladaba kana. Jesus, this purge your church. In the name of Jesus, Yahweh, please pour your church, pour your church. In the name of Jesus, 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 in the name of Jesus. Go purify your church, O God. E rusa ila mana daira topa, e sali gidi mena koma ta sadiata, e rusa la bala bako no mena de belege de be. In the name of Jesus, go pour your church. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. During, during the service earlier today, our Father and the Lord was sharing how there was a point he, that was the time he saw the visions of God, if you remember those of us in the service, when he, when he had a revelation of God. And he said it was that time. He said that he saw him afar off. Right? Now say something. Now say it was that time that holiness became his watchword. It was that time. So, it was, so when you see that that man is trying to live a holy life, it was because of what he saw. How we together? Because I discovered from the scripture that actually when, he, when a man sees God, you see yourself. You see your flaws. You see your wrongs. When a man is, that was what happened to Isaiah as well. The day Isaiah saw the Lord, even though he had been prophesying, even though he had been doing what we would say, the work of the ministry, but the day he saw the Lord, ah, he made an outcry. That woe is me, for I am a man of unclean lips. I mean, and I dwell in the midst of unclean lips. But please, who told him that one? Nobody told him. But because of seeing Jesus, because of seeing the most I lifted up, seated upon the throne, when he saw the Lord, he saw that he saw himself. He saw his true state. He discovered that, oh, I'm unclean. Oh, I'm that was what happened. So I want us to talk to God this morning. I said, Lord Jesus, let please reveal yourself to us, oh God. In reveal yourself to us. Our father in the Lord said, Oh, that day when he saw the Lord, that was what that was when holiness, holiness became his watchword. Probably the reason people are still enjoying the pleasures of sin is because they have not seen the day you see him, you will realize. 
Jehovah. Lord, reveal yourself to us, O oh God. Yahweh, please reveal yourself to us, O oh God. Let there be a revelation. In the name of Jesus, a revelation of Jesus afresh. A revelation of Jesus afresh, O oh God. That will be all the new sin. In the name of Jesus Christ. When we see men for, when begin to fall into alignment, men begin to amend their ways when they see the Lord. Men begin to correct their ways when they see the Lord. Men begin to adjust their lifestyle when they see the Lord. Lord Jesus, in the body of Christ, we are asking that one more time, help us to see you. In the name of Jesus, Yahweh, please help us to see you. Yahweh, please help us to see you, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, please help us to see you. Yahweh, please help us to see you, God. Lord, please help us, help us to see you. We want to see you, oh God, just the way you are. We want to see you just the way you are. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus, we want to see you. We want to see you, Yahweh. We want to see you, Jesus. Oh, Rasala Mana Mana To Saligata. We want to see you. Oh, we want to see you, Jesus. 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 Alamako Rasili Menoto, Maria Tomana Kali Gedebele Gedebeleba. Moshe Kana Mana 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 Marado Selegedebeleba. That you start from his altar. Ayanamako Pelegede Gedebeleba. From his ministers to his vessels, to any of his workers. Any of his best, any of his servants, that we will see him and we will see him. We will see him. Ah, yeah. Oh, yes. It is your voice that we want to hear. Oh, yes. 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 It is your face we want to see. It is your voice. It is your face, Jesus. It is your voice, God. Shine and do rashali na makome na tasa. Oh, it is your face, oh God. Oh Jesus, it is your voice, oh God. Allah na ma na ma no ko sele me ne taras yata. Oh hey, oh it is your face, Yahweh. Oh Jesus, it is your voice. Ah, hey hey. Saladina Tara do Menepotosa. Oh, it is your face, oh God. Oh, Jesus, this is our heart cry this evening. It is your voice that we want to hear. Oh Jesus, it is your face. Oh Jesus, it is your voice, oh God. Can we just turn that song to prayer? Job said, Lord, I have heard of you by the hearing of the ear, but now I see you. But before he saw the Lord, he was raising questions, he was seeing a whole lot of things. But the day he saw him, he, he kept his mouth shut and he said, Oh, Father, the, before I have been hearing of you by the hearing of ear, but now I see you. But now I see you, 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 Lord Jesus. We want to hear your voice and Lord, we want to see your face. 
We are not satisfied with just saying, we also want to see you, Jesus. Oh, no one that, no one that just said that which we have seen, that which we have, we've had, our hands have handled of the words of life. Our hands have handled of the words of life. That which we have seen, that which we have looked upon, that which we have looked upon, we looked upon it and we saw, we see. Kai. Kairu saila mana mana marus yata. Esai kala bala bala kadaba. Menda rusai kai ni meneko penatya. Esi gidi bidu kuperas yata. E lama nato sai ni gidi bidu kuperas ya. E rusai kala bala kadaba. It is your face, Jesus. We want to see. It is your face. We want to see. It is your face. We want to see. It is your voice that we want to hear. Esai la mana kai riato ni gidi bidu kita. Esus yata para dalwa daba. Ah, ya na 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 in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mind, and then we'll pray. We are still praying. But you know what? I realized that in this kingdom, the Bible says, be transformed, Abi, by the renewal of your mind, right? But I discovered that one, one, one major way we are transformed in this kingdom, one major way we are changed is by building, isn't it? By building him, it's by building him. Bible says, and we all, Abi, with open, open face, building as in a glass. What? The glory of the Lord. And as we are building that glory, what happens to us? We are being changed into the same image. So when the Bible says be transformed, then that transforming it implies that I have to see him, Abi. I have to see him. I have to see him. I have to see him. That means when I'm studying the scripture, I need to see God in that scripture, Abi. When I'm reading the Bible, I need to not, I should not just read it for head knowledge. I need to see him in the pages of the scripture. In the pages, I need to just behold him. I need to just behold him. And many of us, many people have been reading scriptures. But it's, it's, it's as though that scripture has not yet matured, has not yet turned to our life. But I want us to be praying this moment. And our prayer is that, Lord, let the word, the scriptures, the scriptures that I read, let it become the voice that guides my life. As I read the scripture, let that word becomes the voice that guides my life. So as I'm walking in the neighborhood, that word keeps ringing. When there's someone that is trying to provoke me, I remember that word, the servant of the Lord must be gentle to all men. Ha! Hey. When, people comes with temp when people come with temptations, with offers, I remember his words. And this is what the word of God says, and I do what I do not for. Let your word become the voice that guides my life. In the name of Jesus, can we talk to God in prayer? Lord God Almighty, this is our heart cry. Let your, let your word, this is your word, your word will be reading, will be studying. We go to service, we go to church, they preach the word. Let your word that we read, that we'll hear, let, me, let it become the voice that guides our life. In the name of Jesus, let it become the voice that guides our living. Let your word become the voice that guides our decision. Let it become the voice that guides our decision making In the name of Jesus Let it be the voice that guides our life In the mighty name of Jesus Christ Lord this is our heart cry oh God Lord this is our heart cry This is our heart cry This is our heart cry In the name of Jesus 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 in the name of Jesus, let your word be the voice that guides us. In the name of Jesus, as we begin to hear Him, as we begin to behold Him, 
As we begin to build him, we are changed. We are changed. As you build God in the scripture, his voice begins to guide your life. As you build God in the scripture, those words take a form, take a body, and begins to direct you, begins to guide you, begins to caution you, begins to constrain you. Let your word become the voice that guides my life. In the name of Jesus, so that as I read the scripture, I'm beholding you. And you begin to speak to me, begin to guide me, begin to grant me direction, you begin to give me instructions, you begin to give me warnings, you begin to give me directions, what to do and what not to do, how to do, in the name of Jesus, how to live by your word, how to live in your world. In the name of Jesus, Yahweh let your word be the voice that guides my life, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God. Oh Jesus, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. It is your voice that we want to hear. Yeah. It is your face, oh God. It is your face I want to see. It is your voice, that voice that guides us. Hi. The when someone is trying to provoke you, that voice tells you, oh, just calm down, keep quiet. Ah, yeah. It is your face, Jesus. It is your face we want to see. It is your voice we want to that voice tells you not to go to where you go for where you will misbehave it is your face it is your face we want to see. it is your voice every temptation was because somebody yielded to one particular voice not it is your own voice that we want to hear it was a voice that Eve had in the garden and we know where that voice landed us today a voice that she had but we want to hear the voice of the almighty regardless of the noise around we want to hear his voice oh Jesus oh Jesus oh Jesus oh Jesus oh Jesus there are some voices in the, in, the, in the atmosphere, they are the voice of noise, the voice of fear rather. Those noise are fear, they are fear. But if you pay attention to those voices, you'll be fearful. And you are, you'll be giving the devil opportunity to, to perpetrate his evil. But we, we choose to hear the voice of God. Because we know when we hear his voice, his voice activates faith in our hearts. It, it helps us to be victorious, his voice. Kai. Oh Jesus, it is your face, oh God, oh. Oh, Baba, it is your voice. It is your voice that we want to hear. That our ears will open and we'll hear from heaven. Oh, it is your face. Jesus, it is your voice. 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 Your holy name because you are faithful. 
until you that answer prayer, all flesh will gather. And we have gathered today in your presence because we know you hear us. Not only that you hear, you answer us. Lord, I am begging of you. Let your voice be our guidance for life. I'm asking Jehovah, let the scripture that we read, let it become the voice that guides our living. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So that we can be your true ambassadors out there in the street. Huh? So that we can be your true vessels out there in the streets. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We ask that there will be a fresh revelation of, of you, of yourself, of who you are to the church one more time. So that we can realize our flaws. So that we can all amend our ways and become the vessel unto one that you want us to be. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we give you all the praise. Amen. We bless your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Can we celebrate Jesus? Celebrate Jesus. Thank you.